Within this video, we're going to go ahead and use the experimental physics inside of UEFN and Fortnite to create a puzzle where you have to push a ball into a volume to get the door to open. And if that ball actually comes back out, it will close the door. Along the way, you'll learn how to create a physics asset from scratch, do a little bit of event binding, and learn that not only the player can push around objects, but so can weapons. Because physics inside of UEFN is inside of experimental mode as of this recording, we're going to have to turn it on. So to do this, go up into project, come down here into the project settings, open this one up, and then at the very bottom of the settings, you'll find a little checkbox that says physics. Go ahead and toggle this one on. Once this has been toggled on, we can go ahead and just close this down because we won't need it again. The static mesh that I'm going to be using in this tutorial is just a simple sphere. It does have collision on it. I went ahead and imported it in from my DCC and set it to an add simplified sphere collision. And you will also notice that the collision complexity is set to project default. Next, we need to go ahead and create a physics asset out of that static mesh. So to do this, what we're going to do is go into our content drawer and I'm going to go into my blueprints folder inside of here. Go ahead and just right click and come up here to where it says blueprint class. Inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and just choose a building prop. And we'll give it a name like BP Physics Sphere. Then go ahead and just open this one up. Here inside the blueprint editor, we're going to go ahead and add in that static mesh. So with this one actually selected, we're going to come down here where it says static mesh and go ahead and choose that sphere that we brought in. In this case, we'll go ahead and use our XYZ sphere. Now to make this an actual physics asset, we have to go ahead and add in another component, which we can do up here in the top left with our little add button inside of our components. So we're going to just click on this and we're going to look for physics. And you can see we have our fort physics. So this is the one we want to go ahead and use. Now with this one selected, you'll notice over in the right hand side that we need to actually toggle on simulate physics. So go ahead and just turn this on. Now I do want to go ahead and override the mass because by default, what this is going to do is use its volume to calculate its mass, which we don't really know what that is because as of right now, we don't have any kind of information about that. So let's go ahead and just override the mass and I'm gonna go ahead and set this down to about 10 kilograms. It'll make it really easy to move around inside of the game. Now, there are a lot of other options here inside of this, but we're gonna go ahead and skip them and keep this very basic for the moment. With this all set up, we wanna make sure that we now compile and save this so that we can go ahead and add it into our world. So let's go back over to the level editor. And from here, we'll go down into the content drawer again and go ahead and grab our BP physics sphere and go ahead and drop this in. I'm going to lift this up because I don't want it to be stuck in the ground and go rocketing off somewhere because we know how physics works inside of a game engine. And at this point, what it'll do is it'll actually just drop down to the ground like so when the game actually begins. So let's just lift it up. Now to get this game mechanic to actually work, we're gonna have to use a combination of the devices that we know and love and the experimental ones, at least as of this recording. And the one that we know and love is this one right here. This is the lock device. We're gonna use it to open and unlock the door that we see right here. The other one that we're going to need is the experimental one. So let's go into our content drawer and inside of our devices folder, we have an experimental folder. So we'll go ahead and open up this one. And inside of here, we have our physics. So we'll go ahead and open up that one. Now, inside of here, we also have a volume device. And this volume device is specifically used for physics assets. So we'll go ahead and use this one. So let's go ahead and just click this and drag it into our world. And I'm gonna set it up so that it actually fits around this entire wall over here. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to make this visible in game so I can actually debug this. And down here at the very bottom, you will notice that we have a couple of new pieces. So we have our on physics enter and on physics exit. And these are what we are going to use to make this mechanic actually work with our physics ball. So to do that, make sure that we go ahead and grab our lock device. And inside of here, we're going to set this unlock when we actually get inside of there. And we'll set this on on physics enter like so. And I'm going to go ahead and just right click copy this and then on our open, we'll go ahead and paste this in here so that we are unlocking and opening when our physics actor actually goes into this volume. Now let's go ahead and take this a step further and we'll go ahead and set our lock up so that it does the opposite. So we'll go ahead and paste that in there and we'll do this on physics exit and we'll go ahead and do the close and paste that in there and change this also to on physics exit and we'll go ahead and make sure that we save everything. So at this point, we should be able to go ahead and test this to see how this is gonna work in game. So let's go ahead and push our changes. And while we wait for that, let me go ahead and plug our free UEFN Creator School. There is a ton of information in here, including full on courses that you can take if you wanna learn a lot about how to put all these pieces together. We also have a lot of little courses that are actually set up into bite-sized chunks, including a bunch of stuff that goes over verse coding if you're interested to learn more about the verse language. So with that out of the way, let's go back over to Fortnite. 
And as we can see here in game, I'll go ahead and push this. One, it moves, yay, that is awesome. And if we go ahead and put it in there, you notice that the door will actually open. Now I do wanna point out that I do actually have a weapon in hand as well, and some weapons, not all weapons, as of this recording, do actually work on this. So if I shoot this, you can see that we'll actually push it through there, which is great. And we could lock ourselves in here if that ball actually goes out through the door. So there you have it. Now you know how to go ahead and enable physics in its experimental mode as of this recording, how to go ahead and create a physics asset that you can play with inside of the engine, and then set up a couple of game mechanics using the devices and the experimental devices to create some puzzles here inside of the game. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below and we'll get back to you when we get a chance. And don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.